what... know about right now on Afrika's side is likely the jungler. <gasps> oh, here we go! Aurelian Soul making its way in as that's gotta be for BDD. It's gonna be the first time, as you see at the bottom, first pick. And it did just get not a stranger oh, look who it is. to the champion. Oh. Kuro and Kramer in the audience. Yep. Hello. Kuro and looking, looking, yeah. <laughs> looking nice today. Oh boy, this is... <laughs> Already, the crowd's getting into this AP Jarvan support. Also has Aiming who took W first, but Spirit, he's okay. gonna get ignited and has to flash. Oh boy, as Arcane Comet, it's all about killing BDD. Yes. Well, Yukal's gonna get stunned up, and it's really unfortunate this he takes really good all bait. this damage early on if he's not gonna get baited. Although, here comes Dread into the backside, the flash on in, the cleanse comes in, but is it enough damage through the magic shield? First blood wasn't even that close to getting away as Dread really wants to make something happen in all the lanes now. King and does have his flash. Whoa. He's gonna get the stains here as well. King and you're in so much trouble. He's gonna flash at the last second, but the what? flash through from Keen. Right now. As well. Yeah, <laughs> I'm up uh you know, I'm up four or five camps. If you guys could just not die, that'd be great. But take a look at this replay. Dread able to stun Kingan right there. They get the flip onto Atrox, and then Kingan doesn't flash until he has one auto attack left remaining. He, to me. If yeah. Ucal tries to come around from the corner, really like that they're saying, okay, maybe Aurelian's right there. We don't want to get caught by a Q. Okay, Paranoia coming in, just trying to deny vision before they can get in. The insta-cleanse from BDD as the Rift Herald does go the way of KT. Spirit looking for that engage. He's going to get two members, but in goes Snowflower. Trying to get the big taunt in here. Scion as well. They're just going to burst through that support, but down goes the Fear Beyond Death. They're going to get on top of Zenit too, as well as Zoomti will get dived upon on the bottom side. Low health bars here from Afrika, but they are able to take a bunch of kills. Loop around here oh. on top of Snowflower, and they have no idea. Now they're going to have a big idea right in the face of Snowflower. He's in a lot of trouble. He's able to put down that dot circle, and the Cassiopeia does fight back quite a bit, trying to chunk down Dread and go 1v3, but here's Zoe. Forces that flash away, but Dread! Oh, oh, so close! And Dread is essentially being a third laner in the bottom side, just trying to keep him safe, as now they want to get on top of Umti. He does spell shield the stun, but going in the back line, there is the stopwatch, as here comes oh. King and big stun onto that one. He's going to save Snowflower, as, oh, he might burn down, but not quite. In goes Dread, as BDD once again trying to go 1v3 as the rest of them are distracted. Snowflower able to pick up a kill. Support be support, as Afrika unfortunately this time around went a little bit too deep when you're trying to get on top of Zenit. How can you do that without your flash if you are the Camille? As uh, Umsi, wow, he's having a little bit of trouble there as the taunt does come in onto the Zoe. As uh, Spirit, no, wrong team. My good friends, now this is the wrong side. Oh. He is able to actually oh. get away, but oh, there's the big stun. Nicely done from the side of Zenit as he was trying to make the big Jarvan escape actually happen. As now Kingen, nearly going to go down, but does have that uh, shield to keep him alive from that fear beyond him. He's pushing quite hard indeed as Afrika saying that they wanted Umti, and all it cost them was a Jarvan ultimate. Okay, Scion coming in here, not quite able to land that unstoppable onslaught as now Dread is gonna have to hop the wall as it was uh, just threatening the damage to come in. BDD now extremely fast, looking to land that stun onto aiming as Keen trying to come into the front and just deny that one. And he will go on to the Camille as he does not get feared up with that hook shot. Another Bubble to land onto Kingen as they want to go into this one, but stunned up is the Urgot. Man, he is so tanky in that front line, but Spirit not even halfway as tanky as eventually. Cassiopeia's cool champ. Cassiopeia is able to just rip Dren, looking for the steal. They're going to deny vision first as well as the plant. Can That's he get it? Step one, he gets the taunt. Now you go for the burst. Okay, can they get it? In goes Dren, and he's not going to be able to pick it up 
as Zoe will get a kill onto the Cassiopeia, but the Baron, most importantly, will... But then KT didn't burst it immediately, and so still, Dread had an opportunity to potentially steal, so... Trying to bully down U or Umti, rather, but they're gonna be punished for it. Oh! Now everybody is the front line, as Cassiopeia easily does damage behind. Lock them up, boys. This game is a done deal, as triple kill of the Cassiopeia, the comp working its magic, as now KT could look for the win. Yeah, and that's definitely gonna be it. The death timers are way too high. Spirit and Dread, not the two champions that you want to respawn if you're even trying to have a hope of surviving this push. And with all five members of KT still alive, Demolish as a rune coming in handy as well. Baron minions, this is it for game number two. Lined it up was Afrika saying, hey, take me Scion, and that he did as the rest of KT able to put the nail in the coffin 2-0. Very unsurprising score whenever I am casting for KT up against Afrika. Guys, that's my 11th series in a row that has gone to 2 and 0. I have not cast a 2 1 series just yet. We'll see if that changes in the, in the second one, as KT should be very ecstatic about their win. They finally pick up a second one in a, well, in here in the LCK. They're going to go ahead and shake hands. KT definitely deserve to pick up that victory. Well played. Yeah, and KT in. Game number two definitely looked a lot more decisive and aware of what their comp wanted to do and how to do it. And then it sort of helped that Afrika's comp sort of helped them too. <laughs> they were, yeah. KT was like, you know, we want to come at you. And then Afrika is saying, you know, that's what a coincidence. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's a, sort of all that we can do without Zoe. So nice 2 0 win for KT here. And for Afrika, Darwin suffers a loss. And. Yeah. I mean, the story still continues that they're doing these wonky things with picks and bans and whatnot, but for Isle of Move being your head coach and having no faith, where is the standard, traditional, strong... Yeah.